Mr. Kevin Flynn is a real estate attorney with Griffin, Fletcher, and Herndon, and an adjunct professor at UC Law School. Mr. Flynn is also board chair of the Drake Center. He holds a JD degree from the University of Cincinnati. He is endorsed by the Charter Committee and lives in Mount Airy. Welcome. Thank you. I want to be your next city council member. That's pretty simple. Why? I love this city. As with everyone else that's running for city council, we all love Cincinnati. You love Cincinnati or you wouldn't be here. So love isn't enough. I have a desire to serve Cincinnati. I was having lunch today with a friend of mine and we were talking about service. I see service as the rent we pay for the life we've been given. I've been very blessed in my life and I feel like I need to give back. But again, I don't think that's enough. We all desire to serve Cincinnati. I honor Cecil Thomas's service to this city over many years, putting his life on the line day in and day out as a police officer. <coughs> what sets me apart is I have the ability to solve the challenges that are facing Cincinnati today and in the future. Not only will we get through these immediate crises, but we will build a better Cincinnati for tomorrow. My combination of knowledge, experience, innovative solutions, and perseverance will en enable us to move Cincinnati forward. Who am I? I'm a husband, a father, a businessman, a lawyer, a professor, a board chair. I bring a wealth and range of experience to city council that isn't seen right now. We have many challenges, the budget, public safety, and economic development. If we're gonna move our city forward, we must develop our city economically. That starts with neighborhood business development. The city needs to get out of the way and stop putting up roadblocks to businesses that are trying to open. I was speaking with the gentleman that's trying to open ZZ's Pizza three days ago. And he was telling me of all of the different hoops that he has to jump through just to get the permits to open his pizza store back up. That's wrong. We need to be encouraging, not discouraging, small businesses to open in this area. We need to enter into areas of public-private partnerships. The city too often dictates what has to be done rather than entering into a partnership and listening to the private businesses. With your help, a little knowledge, a little experience, a little innovation, a little perseverance, a lot of common sense, we will move Cincinnati forward. Cincinnati will win with Flynn. Thank you. Mr. Flynn, to reduce upcoming budget deficit, what specific areas would you cut in the city budget? The, the city budget deficit projected at $51.5 million is big. We should have started last December when we knew there was going to be a budget deficit for 2010, but we didn't, and it's not impossible to still balance it without significantly cutting our services. We have a $1.2 billion total budget for our city. It's not $370 million. That's the operating budget. We need to look at that. I'd rather have six police walking the beat than spending $400,000 to put in uh, speed bumps in neighborhoods next year. That's in our budget right now, and that's coming out of the general capital fund, which could be put back into the operating funds. There's $11 million for automobiles in the ca general capital budget next year. We don't need to replace $11 million worth of automobiles next year. Let's move some of that to public safety and saving the rest of our city. Thank you. Mr. Flynn, um, I realize that City Council doesn't have any direct say over the Cincinnati public school system, but the schools are a key element in revitalizing our neighborhoods. 
Um, I see personally an increasing number of young families who are choosing to buy homes in Cincinnati in order for their children to be able to attend Cincinnati public schools because they value the flexibility and the diversity of the school systems. Um, in fact, a recent Business Courier article said that homes that are increasing in value when they looked at the entire metro region, that of all those communities, three of the top ten were in Cincinnati. Um, what do you think that as a city council member you could do to encourage a partnership or to work more closely with the school systems in order to um, have the schools be the best value for the neighborhoods? Well, I think you hit, hit the nail on the head when you said partnership. That's key. We, we can't tell the schools what to do, and nor should we tell the schools what to do. But we can partner with them. We, we should be entering into greater partnerships from a bricks and sticks perspective um, rather than building separate recreation centers and gyms in, in new school buildings. Why not do what they did up at the Mason schools and combine the community facilities with the school facilities, thereby enhancing those things for both? We need to enhance our volunteer activities in the school, and that's something the city council can encourage. I'm a big believer in volunteerism, and having mentors in the public schools will only help make our schools better. Thank you. Mr. Flynn, uh, someone who's covered City Hall for years, we always hear people, incumbents and challengers, complain that the city uh, is not friendly to bringing new businesses to town. So if you were elected, what specific ideas or proposals would you have to make business uh, more willing to come here? Well, I think businesses are starting to come to Cincinnati, and I think that the attitude is changing in Cincinnati. First thing to do, streamline the process. You don't need to have to go to six different departments to get the permits that you need to open a business. There should be one, it should be one-stop shopping. They started to do that with the building department when they moved them up to Central Parkway and out of City Hall. And for a few years it was fine, and now the bureaucracy's back, and it's, and it's harder and harder to get, a, to get a business open. So we need to streamline that process first. Second of all, we need to look for partnerships. One of the, one of the nice things that's happening is in the Gateway Quarter area. 3CDC, which is a quasi-private company, a nonprofit company, is partnering with the city and with private businesses to open more and more developments up in that area. And they're doing it one block at a time, one building at a time. That's what we need to do here in Cincinnati. Thanks. Mr. Flynn, some of Cincinnati's neighborhoods have such a negative reputation from outsiders coming into the city. Um, I recently moved here about a little bit over a year ago, and when I was trying to choose the place that I wanted to live, I asked people that I worked with, and a lot of people had negative connotations with certain neighborhoods. If elected, how do you personally plan to get rid of those negative stereotypes by reaching out to the public, especially newcomers to the city? Well, perception is, is difficult to overcome, mm -hmm. and the only way you can overcome it is through experience. So you have to bring people to the neighborhoods. I love to roll around downtown by myself. I feel perfectly safe. Yet if I say that out in Price Hill or Westwood, they think I'm crazy. You go over to Evanston, and, and it's a wonderful community, but you just have to go there. I can't change what somebody's going to tell you as a newcomer coming to Cincinnati. All I can do is show you how wonderful Cincinnati really is. <laughs> I need your help. People complain about city council all the time, but then they elect the same names. I'm new, I bring ability to city council. On November 3rd, I hope you'll give me one of your votes. Cincinnati will win with Flynn. Thank you.